Good morning, and thank you for joining us today. One quick announcement. This coming Saturday, we will have the funeral for Jackie Dolan. We extend our sympathies to her family. Again, Saturday at 11 o'clock is the funeral for Jackie Dolan. For those of you that missed the Kathy Van Milligan funeral yesterday, it's because there wasn't a Kathy Van Milligan funeral yesterday. That has been rescheduled for Monday the 1st at 3 o'clock. Our presider today is our former pastor, Monsignor Patrick Bishop, and he'll be assisted by Deacon Peter Harris. Please rise. Sing of the Lord's goodness, Father of all wisdom, come to him and bless his name. Sing, he has shown us his love is for us. Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, Rod. Howdy. You know, this virus has closed down businesses, it's closed down schools, it's closed down sporting events, maybe even the Olympics. But the 8 o'clock sunrise service at Transfiguration, the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I love you all with all my heart, but you are sick people. I'm often asked that on the rare occasion when I have this mass, Father, do you go back to bed afterwards? You all don't understand. I'm still in bed. This is sleepwalking in its newest uh, apex. A heavy weekend as we pause to commemorate that 48 years ago, the tragic decision was made that a baby's not even safe in its mother's womb. As we recall that unfortunate occasion in our country, and the number of souls that have been sent to God so early. Let us take a moment to ask God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise. 
is a stunned Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Raise your voices in praise to our wonderful God. Almighty and ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son we may be abounding in good works. Through our Lord Jesus the Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. From the book of the prophet Jonah. The word of the Lord came to Jonah, saying, Set out for the great city of Nineveh, and announce to it the message that I will tell you. So Jonah made ready and went to Nineveh, according to the Lord's bidding. Now Nineveh was an enormously large city. It took three days to go through it. Jonah began his journey through the city and had gone but a single, day, single day's walk, announcing, Forty days more, and Nineveh shall be destroyed. When the people of Nineveh believed God, they proclaimed a fast, and all of them, great and small, put on sackcloth. When God saw by their actions how they turned from their evil way, he repented of the evil that he had threatened to do to them, 
he did not carry it out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To you, God, I lift up my soul, lift up my spirit to my Lord. I lift up my soul to you, O oh God. I lift up my soul, lift up my spirit to my Lord. To you, I lift up my soul. Make me to know. letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I tell you, brothers and sisters, the time is running out. From now on, let those having wives act as not having them, those weeping as not weeping, those rejoicing as not rejoicing, those buying as not owning, those using the world as not using it fully. For the world in its present form is passing away. The word of the Lord. Gospel according to Mark. 
After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is a time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets into the sea. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. Then they abandoned their nets and followed him. He walked along a little further and saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They too were in a boat mending their nets. Then he called them. So they left their father Zebedee in the boat, along with the hired men, and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Please remain standing. I believe. And let us petition our God in prayer. For the church, may we promote the gospel message which values and respects lives of all ages, from the unborn, to the social outcasts, to the elderly and infirm. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world, may the day soon come when all people see others as fellow children of God, and all people are stewards of God's creation, caring for the earth with all its plants and creatures. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our country, may our new president and his administration be led by the gospel in caring for others as well as the American ideals of liberty and justice for all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for children throughout the world, born and unborn. Help us protect and nurture them so they can have the opportunity to grow in the love of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the unemployed and for all who struggle financially, give us all generous and willing hearts to help ease their suffering. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, may Christ dwell in their hearts and be a source of healing and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Nick Blanchard, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Teco Browning, Dana Johnson, Judith Crochet, Debbie Betzel, Hermelinda Cruz, Fidel Alejandro Chavez, Joan Dunn, and John Shook. May they be welcomed into the kingdom of eternal joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for your own intentions held in silence. We know that you hear our voices, Lord. 
help us in turn to hear yours, that we might follow the ways you would lead us to create a world where life is sacred. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Friday, January 22nd, 2021, marked the 48th anniversary of the Roe versus Wade Supreme Court decision. Since that ruling, there have been more than 62 million legalized abortions in the United States. We usually have a procession that includes one person born each year since abortion was legalized in 1973 but that is not possible with the current COVID restrictions. In remembrance, we have a bouquet of 48 roses at the front of the altar to remind us that life is precious. 47 roses are red to signify our love and devotion. The white rose signifies the purity and innocence of babies who have been or will be aborted this year. Please keep in your prayers all of the unborn not protected since the Roe versus Wade Supreme Court decision. Wonder of wonders, life is beginning, fragile as muscle, strong as the earth,
Brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashion for us a remedy for mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the very means of our salvation through Christ. Through him, the host of angels, adore your majesty and rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in our chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, and said, take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup and once more giving you thanks gave it to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you, for all people, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. As we celebrate this memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the cup of eternal salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, especially where she suffers persecution, and bring to her the fullness of peace. Together with Francis, our Pope, Gregory, Joel, Ned, our bishops, with the clergy and the entire people your son has gained for you. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Let us pray for the forgiveness of sin in the words our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and grant peace in our day. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory. Can you imagine when the word became flesh and looked around this world at the work that had to be done to teach us better ways to live? He started with 12. And they changed the world. And when he returned to the Father, he said to his followers, I know. The work is heavy and sometimes seems hopeless. But I'm with you until the end of days. And in this bread and in this cup, we have the power to live the gospel of Jesus Christ and to do our part in changing this world. who takes away the sin of the world. And blessed are those 
who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. If you're joining us for this Mass online, please pray this prayer at this time. My Jesus, on the day of my baptism, you poured your love into my heart through the Holy Spirit who unites me eternally to you. Through that same Spirit, I pledge my love and adore you, present in your most holy body and blood. Though I cannot consume you in this sacred banquet, let me be consumed by your great desire for me, so that my longing for you may be filled by your love alone and your mercy overflow through me into this world so in need. Amen. Oh 
Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us new life, we may always glory in your gifts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.